If you've installed the DaVinci Resolve 15 beta, you probably notice that uh, the inclusion of Fusion is a pretty big deal. Uh, it gives a lot of extra capabilities and allows you to do a lot of uh, motion graphics and 3D titles without having to leave Resolve and go out to Fusion. It's all within the one program. And they've also, uh, within the edit page, if you go into the effects library and go under titles, you'll see they've added a text plus. Uh, from Fusion and also some pre-made Fusion titles, uh, quite a few here. But they're kind of hit or miss with how, what kind of quality they are. Some of them are probably good enough to use, others are kind of a little bit lacking. And in a previous video I've actually showed how you create your own uh, within Fusion, either Fusion 9 or uh, Resolve 15's Fusion, and then uh, make your own custom Fusion titles. If you look here, I've added two here, one called Side Circle Text, one called TV Rating. And if you look in your list, you won't see those because these are the ones I've added. So I will put a link to that video in the description. And here I'll just give a quick look at that. So this is one call I call TV Rating, which just adds a little TV Rating box up there, which you could customize. Click here, you could change the text. You could change that to say TV 17 or whatever you want. Change the font. That's my own custom one that I added to this list. But also, if you want to modify any of these, uh, if you just open them up within the Fusion and Resolve 15, so I'll open this one here and put it within this project. And it's pretty nice, even though, since I guess this is a beta, that this first line of text is actually not in line with the background graphic here. That's called somebody who designed it added a line feed before the first line here. Can fix it just by going to the first line here and hit backspace, and that'll bring it up into line. But then each time you use this, like if you save this project, open up another project, and try to use this Fusion title, that same thing will be there and you'll have to fix it. But you can actually go in and edit this within Fusion and fix that and change it. You can make, say, this rectangle longer and make change some parameters that they just didn't include in the inspector over here. So I'll show you how to do that. You go in and edit it. So basically you look at the, what the title, the name of the Fusion title you want to modify. And there's a folder where these are all stored and they're all basically just text files uh, with the extension of dot setting. So just remember the one you want. And then you open up the folder, I'll put the path to it in the description below. It's in a folder called Titles, and here they all listed. So the one I was just demonstrating is this one up here. And these are the ones down here, are the ones I added TV rating and side circle text. But you just right click on the one you want to modify and click Open With. And then uncheck that and just click Notepad to open. And that opens, and you can see it's just a bunch of text. So what you want to change, if you want to modify it, is uh, the word macro operator here because I won't minimize this real quick because if you just drag it into resolve and then go down to fusion and try to modify it it just comes in as a node it doesn't come in as a group because it's basically a macro and you can't edit it and you can't change any of the settings other than what they uh, have already uh, allowed for which is over here and there's a lot of customizability, but there might be, again, other things. Again, like this first line of text, if you want to modify that permanently, you have to go in and modify the actual macro. So you basically want to go back to this text file and change that from macro operator to group operator. And then you want to select all the text within that file and then copy it so hit control C and you just minimize that window and you can come right back into to resolve 15 uh, you probably want to give yourself some room to, to work here and kind of move that off over to the side and just make sure that you you click inside the flow here in a blank area make sure that nothing is highlighted and hit control V and that brings it in as a group you can see it looks different than this and then you can just right click on it, click expand group, and now you can see all the different nodes. And now you can modify any of these nodes. You could add nodes to it if you want. 
and then we're going to basically save it out and it will be added back in to that uh, to that list but if we look here it's made up of it's a merge so if we look here there's a uh, last scene merge so I put this in the window and then zoom out you kind of get an idea of how they made it they have a 3d camera they have a 3d cube which is this backing plane and you can come over here to the inspector and just double click on that so you can see that's a 3d cube and then they have uh, that going into uh, first 3d merge here along with two texts line one and line two so if you go to line one you can see that they have that line feed so just click before the letter first and first there hit backspace and when we save that out it'll be permanently saved there and if we want to change say if we want to change the length of this rectangle that comes out you just have to go over here to the transform section here and we have scale and we have translation so we just up the scale so we can make it longer And then if we wanted to go further into the scene here, into the camera's view, we want to come back over to this first Merge 3D and come over to the Transform. And they're basically using the X offset translation. They're keyframing that. And as you go along, it moves further into the camera's view. So we just basically have to hit the the next keyframe here and get to the keyframe where it's fully out so that's to the left that's fully out so if we want to move that further out into the camera's view here just left click in that box and move it to the right and now move it further out into the scene you can actually take the output put it into the second window and here we can see the changes that we've made so we made the rectangle longer and we've moved the text up Now, if you want to save this out, just make sure you have the header here selected and hit Control C to copy it. Remember, this is just text, plain text, so we can minimize that. Now, we probably don't want to overwrite the original one, so you want to open up a new text document. Just open one on the, de on the desktop here, paste it in, go up to the top, change that back to from group operator to macro operator. And then you want to go save it. I'm going to save it as basically the same name, just with a dash copy. So we'll go back to this original one. Copy its name, but don't save it. Then go back to the new one. Do a file save as. Control V. Now you want to set it to all files so it doesn't put a .txt extension on it. And just gonna save it to the desktop and again remember to change its name to dash copy at the end so we have two different copies of it so now let's save it to the desktop so then we're gonna going to close down resolve then we're gonna copy this one we just created go back to that folder that has all the titles in it and right click and paste now here we can it's going to ask for administrative permission click continue and then it'll do the copy if you try to do that from within notepad it actually won't let you do it so it's best to do it this way and then we can open up resolve again and open up a project And then go back to edit and on the left side here under fusion titles you'll see the modified one that you made a new copy of and we'll pull that over and add that to the project on the timeline go back to home move it to the beginning and you can see now the line of text is lined up with the rectangle and the rectangle is also longer and if you compare that with the original one See that the this line of text, the original one, is still off, and the rectangle is not as quite as long. 
but it did save any of the changes that we made. And also over here, you can see that the first line of text is up where it's supposed to be. So that's how you can modify any of these Fusion titles. Now you don't have to make a copy if you feel confident in the changes you made and you just want to modify it and keep it the same name, you can do that. But I would suggest at least making a backup of it someplace else or doing what I did and just renaming it. It doesn't take up that much space. And you can go with the original or you can go with the new version you made. And again, with the other video I made, you can make your own custom ones totally from scratch and save them here. Or you could start with one of these and create your own custom. But that's how you can modify your Fusion titles within Resolve 15 beta. And hopefully you found this useful. And thank you for watching.